Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough. In the workshop this week, I want to share a couple of little widgets that I found with you uh, that will help you make accurate, repetitive cuts, especially if you're just using bench dogs and an MFT style top like this. That's coming up next. So I've got an old style Festool MFT uh, table inset into my run of benches here in the workshop. I don't talk about it much. I, I mentioned it briefly when I did my shop tour way back when. Uh, I did a couple of videos more recently after uh, a conversation with my podcast co-host Andy Mack. If you don't know, I have a podcast called Measuring Up uh, with uh, YouTube's Gosforth handyman, uh, Andy Mack. Uh, go and check out both the podcast and Andy's channel. Doing great work on both of those. Uh, when I did my MFT videos more recently, we had lots of comments, lots of questions, but the one comment well, the one theme that seemed to be coming up very regularly was along the lines of, I don't need that expensive table. I've got an MFT top with some bench dogs. That's great. If that works for you, I'm really pleased for you. But I think you're missing a trick. I know I keep going on about this, but a fence and stops transforms uh, a, a, an expensive table with holes in it uh, to something that will make accurate, repetitive cuts, not just a possibility, but a probability, time after time. Now I'm designing a replacement mobile bench for myself at the moment, the one I have uh, I made uh, about 15, 16 years ago, so my needs have changed, plus it is completely trashed at the moment. So I need something new, and I've been racking my brains to try and come up with uh, the best way of having a, a fence that will attach to a mobile bench, but also detach and stay relatively accurate because obviously with a mobile bench, you don't want a fence on there all the time. And what I've come up with, what I've found are these little guys. So these are called fence dogs. They're a deceptively simple, but really clever idea. They look a bit like a standard bench dog, 20 mil across and 18 mil deep at the base. So they'll slot into any Festool MFT style top hole, uh, but above that you've got about 50 mil of pillar and that has a slot running all the way through it. Each fence dog comes with a 6 mil bolt with a turned knob on the end and a little T-nut that attaches to it. Now that T-nut will fit the track from a Festool's own MFT fence, it will fit the Incra fence or Bench Dogs Co UK who made these also supply uh, a fence of their own as well as part of a bundle. But if like me you're a little bit of a cheapskate, well I've picked up a metre long length of this aluminium extrusion, they call it V-Rail, from a company called Oosnest. Um, Oosnest, great name, uh, they make all kinds of bits and pieces for CNC machines, uh, home CNC builds and 3D printer builds and that kind of thing. I paid just £12 plus shipping for this piece of aluminium and the T-nuts on the fence dogs just fit in this profile absolutely perfectly. This happens to be a 20 by 40 mil, but they do anything from 20 by 20 through to 20 by 80, as well as a 40 by 40, if you want uh, something that size. So how does this work? Well, it's actually really simple. The T-nuts just slot into the aluminium extrusion and the fence dogs just bolt into them. With the fence dogs left loose, you can fit them into the holes on your MFT top, wherever you want them to be. Then tighten them up and you're good to go. When you finish with the fence, you can take it off in one piece, knowing that they'll come back to exactly the same spot or even a different set of holes if that's what you want. And of course, because they're only bolted on, you've still got a certain amount of flexibility can move them around between the two fence dogs. Each fence dog also comes with a 6mm machine screw just in case you don't want to use the knob and are happy to have them attached more permanently. Each fence dog is also tapped with an 8mm hole in the base so that the standard Festool knob or any other knob will fit them perfectly in case you want to attach them more securely to an MFT top. So a pair of these fence dogs will set you back just 25 quid from Bench Dogs Co UK and a one metre length of this 20 by 40 V-Track aluminium rail cost just £12 plus shipping from Ooze Nest. Links to both of these firms are downstairs, downstairs? Down in the video in the description below. I've got no commercial connection with them. I wish I did, I wish I was on commission, but I'm not. That's it for this week though. I wanted to share these with you. 
without making you wait for the bench build because that's going to be a few weeks away and these look like really useful little bits and pieces. Both firms will ship internationally so you have no excuse not to buy from them. Uh, but that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share it freely amongst your friends and don't forget the best way not to miss one of my videos is to subscribe to the channel. It takes two seconds and costs you just two seconds of your time. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell then you'll be notified whenever I put up something new. New videos are out every Tuesday and Friday at noon GMT. Tuesday videos are generally a little bit shorter and snappier. Friday videos a little bit more involved and occasionally run into longer series. But that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.